lived here all my life. I learned to ride my bike in this park and um, yeah, we've been fighting this battle now for a couple of years uh, with Amy PLC, which is owned by Ferrovial. It's a massive uh, multi multinational corporation that basically are funding this uh, or have this contract with the Sheffield City Council. Uh, it's a money-based issue. It's got nothing to do with public interest whatsoever. Labour City Council have done nothing about this, uh, including, including Councillor Terry Fox, who is basically, as far as I'm concerned, completely absolved himself of any responsibility or duties on behalf of the people of Sheffield and people who are trying to protect these trees. So I arrived this morning uh, around about 8 o'clock a.m. There was already people here at 5 a.m. on behalf of Amy PLC. Guys in the uh, jackets that you see behind me, and essentially they have been removing people's cars. Uh, apparently, they knocked on their doors to do so, but at five o'clock in the morning, obviously a lot of people didn't answer, and they actually dragged their cars out of the way without even any consultation. There was no forewarning, none, none whatsoever, uh, and they've basically been cutting the trees down since then. I think that people need to be more aware of what is going on in their environment. There is no structure here or plan to what they're actually doing. They set out the six Ds, which are essentially just complete nonsense, and it needs to be up for public scrutiny, and it's not being, and they're fighting a really dirty battle in the press. Uh, the Sheffield City Council are in cahoots with that, and they call themselves the Outdoor City. We're now considered to be the outdoor capital of the UK, and yet they do this. If they have to do these things, they should face it and come and speak to us and let us protest and do the job in front of us rather than deviously. And I think it's about well over 100 years ago that they planted them as a memorial for the people of Sheffield to enjoy. I think it's vested interest in business that's running this town. I think um, that uh, you know, the, the contract between Amy and the City Council, the, the, which we're not allowed to see. According to my understanding, we can't see the, the contract because it's a commercial contract between Amy and the, and the, and the local authority. You, know, you find the council up and to want to talk about trees, you end up talking to somebody from Amy. There's nothing wrong with these trees. So why are they being cut down? I have no idea. I think possibly because they're being paid to do so. Amy have a contract, I think. We were woken at uh, 5 a.m. this morning by the police knocking on the door telling us that we had to move our car immediately or it would be towed. Uh, and the words, we are only keeping the peace we used. Uh, so to comply with what they said, I went to move my car, but then came back and stood uh, within our, the confines of our property here. Um, and this has prevented them since then from actually chopping the tree down. Uh, we've been told that if we actually go out onto the street, because we've been given a warning that we will be arrested uh, for uh, stopping Amy conducting their uh, lawful business. Five o'clock today, trying to say we're going to take our trees down. It's not very nice to say that, is it? It's not very nice. Five o'clock, you have when nobody's around. You've got to say that to people. That's, that's fine. How many people were arrested? Uh, three, I think. For what? For breaching uh, and make, committing an offence under the uh, Trade Unions and Labour Relations Act. What's this got to do with trade unionism? It's not got anything to do with trade unionism. It's about hindering the use of people conducting lawful activity. So picketing a tree, is that what it's called? No. The council in the town. So the council is running this town. They're the yes. ones who decide, gave you approval to do this. We, we we don't need any approval because we haven't done anything. So you answered to Amy? I said, no. No, we answer to the Human Rights Act. To the Human Rights Act? Yeah. Okay, that. Right. I do need to talk to my colleagues now. You answered the Human Rights Act? I, I thought those were trees, not humans. 
Yeah, they are trees. There were more people here then, and then there, there wouldn't be a problem because we could keep this thing going as long as is possible. I saw about five or so cars towed away. I'm not sure what the exact number was because uh, they started before quite a bit earlier, further down the road. We just love them, and we've so campaigned from them. Oh, well over a year, we've been to meetings and things, and people have brought um, roof, you know, the research that they've done in these trees are still strong and good. And they let us have the meetings. I think it's absolutely appalling that they should take these beautiful trees down that's been there 80 years. It is, I can't describe how I feel. I feel like crying all the time. I mean, what's the council thinking about doing things like this when they've got so many other jobs to do? And it must be costing a fortune, all this. The council, I mean, it must have cost hundreds of thousands to get all this and all the cars moved. It's horrendous. These trees were paid for by the people of Sheffield and the, the, the industrialists for pollution. And what have they done? There's the bats live round here. The bats live off the aphids, the birds. I mean, it's just, I just sit and watch the birds in the trees and everything going off. And it is so beautiful. And they just go on 